Hey guys, this week on uh, Dining Playbook, Jenny Johnson and I are taking you all over Cape Cod, more specifically Ocean Edge Resort and Golf Club, and it's 429 acres. And all of its offerings. Then we're headed to Dennis to a restaurant called The Marsh Side. We're headed to Harwich Port to a place called The Port. Mm -hmm. And down to Sandwich to a great place for some entertainment. Hi everybody and a welcome into Dining Playbook. Jenny and I are very excited about this <laughs> week's show. Uh, we are in the middle of a colossal lawn here mm. at Ocean Edge Resort on Cape Cod. And the reason we're here is because you need to come here. <laughs> People have been in the house, they've been dying to go someplace. Now you can go anywhere you want. So we say pack up the extended family, everybody, and come, come to, to the Ocean Cape Edge. and come yeah. to Ocean Edge. This place is spectacular. And what's really cool is this lawn is open to the public. So this is where I say you come with the kids in the afternoon, you grab yourself a pizza, yeah. opens at four, they have entertainment, they have games galore, and of course these great fire pits if for some reason it's cool. So you wear them down. Right, and then you put them to bed, totally. and then you enjoy the rest of Ocean Edge Resort. So much to enjoy here. Oh God, here. yeah, 429 acres, by the it's way. It's a big place. It is big. Where on the Cape are we? You had a diagram. Yeah, this is my description of the Cape. So P-Town yeah. is where you cross the bridge over here. Uh -huh. Ocean Edge is right in here on the bay side. Ah. We'll be showing you the beaches. We'll be showing you the spectacular 429 mm. Nine. acre yeah. property. Let's take a look. Welcome to Ocean Edge Resort and Golf Club on beautiful Cape Cod. My name is Leon Bolivar and I can't wait to show you around. We are one of the biggest and most friendliest resorts on all of Cape Cod. We set on 429 acres in the beautiful Lower Cape. We are great for families, friends, anybody who wants to get away from it all and wants a nice beach vacation. We've got the mansion side of the property where we're at right now and then we also have the villages side. On the villages side you've got the one, two, three bedroom units and on this side of the property you've got the great front lawn, you've got the beach bar and all the other amenities that we have to offer here. Really all you need to be able to get out here with your family and friends for a good long week and enjoy your time on Cape Cod. We'd love for you to come down and tee it high and let it fly on our beautiful golf course. The views of it are as dramatic as the course itself. It's the only Nicholas Design golf course on the Cape, so very challenging, beautiful, and waiting for you to come by. I'm Philip Flatt, the executive chef, and we're enjoying the beach bar right here on the resort. It's kind of a hidden treasure. At the beach, we have to take in what New England is all about, and so we prepared a New England lobster roll. The grain bowl is a blend of five different grains, some great vegetables of, of zucchini and tomatoes, and some roasted corn. Ocean Terrace is our premier restaurant on the resort. It's got probably one of the best views for an upscale dining atmosphere on the Cape. Within this, we prepared two dishes that kind of represent what the terrace is all about. The first one is a seared halibut with some saffron grits, honey truffle beurre blanc, and some grilled asparagus. The second dish is a seared duck breast with some crispy gnocchis, grilled asparagus, and, and toasted mushrooms with a blackberry gastric. Kind of that land and sea atmosphere that represent what Ocean Terrace is all about. Another restaurant on the property is Lynx Tavern, overlooking the first tee of our golf course, really geared towards the membership aspect of the resort and golf club. One dish that's really unique to Lynx Tavern is the grilled watermelon and burrata dish. A really summery take on a traditional kind of caprese salad, but we're using grilled watermelon instead. Another popular dish is the broiled cod that really represents what Cape Cod in the summer is all about. The newest venture that we have on the resort is the front lawn. We put this wonderful brick oven, wood-fired pizza oven on the front lawn, a canned cocktail and, and beer program. All of our restaurants here, as well as our spa, open to the public, so we invite you all to come down. And if you don't book a room, come down anyway and hang out at one of our restaurants. We've got so much going on here all summer long, so book your room. We can't wait to see you. Still so much to come from the gorgeous Ocean Edge Resort where oh, I have so many memories of this incredible place. Have you been to Hog Island? It's new, but yeah. that's a cool place to check out right down the road in Orleans. Yeah. Still to come, we're going to be headed to the terrace right here at Ocean Edge. And then we're also going to be heading to our friend's restaurant, the Marsh Side, down the road in Dennis. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Dining Playbook. Jenny and I are having a fabulous time here at Ocean Edge Resort. 
on the Cape Cod. Can you do me a favor? Can you ask me where precisely we are at this moment? Well, Bill, where precisely are we? We are at Ocean Terrace at the mansion at Ocean Edge. Such a spectacular spot. <laughs> really, really is. And what's really cool is no matter when you're here, there's always something going on. Oh, yeah. Seven weddings in a day they do in from one time day. to time. I mean, it's just so impressive. And you know what? This past winter, they did something different here. They opened Ocean Terrace up here as the Frost Bar. Oh, cool. So they had igloos and they closed in the bar. What a fabulous place to come in the winter time now. And the shoulder seasons I love on Cape Cod. If you're yes. looking for something this fall, it's just the best time to be here. The shoulder seasons. That's what they're called. Okay. That's well, what you grew called. up around the Cape as a yeah, kid. You know what, these that's terms. That's what we call okay. them. We call them the shoulder seasons. We just seasons. learned that. The, the shoulder season. The food is divine. We got ourselves some Brewster oysters. We're mm -hmm. going to tell you a little bit about the Brewster oyster farm that's right in back here. And when mm -hmm. you take a look at the views, you can even see P-Town from here. Oh. Okay, so we're all over the Cape today. This next spot is called the Marsh Side. It's right down the road in Dennis. It is owned by one of our dear friends and one of the most incredible philanthropists in the Boston area, mm. Jack Connors. Take a look at the Marsh Side. Got to do a shout out to your grandmother, Gladdy. Oh, Hello, Gladdy. Gladdy. So um, many wonderful memories on this terrace. Because she lived here, and didn't she used to take the trip over here to the mansion just to get the free newspapers? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, Gladdy, you know you Every told me that. Every single morning, she would drive probably a mile and a half to get the New York Times, the Boston Globe, and she'd read both cover to cover. Thank you so much for providing my grandma with all those newspapers all of those years. Stick around because we're going to head to the other side of Ocean Edge to the Lynx Tavern overlooking their gorgeous golf course. Oh. Hey guys, so welcome back to uh, Dining Playbook. If you've just tuned in, while well, Jenny and I are having a ball here at Ocean Edge Resort on the Cape, this place is massive. It is. Okay? I mean, there are so many different places to enjoy yourself, to relax to eat, we're now at the Lynx Tavern. Yes, we are. So mm -hmm. after you're done playing nine or 18 holes on this magnificent course, yeah. come here and have yourself a nice nosh. Now, I want more detail on that in a couple of seconds, but I must compliment the chef, okay? This is magical. If you watch the show with any regularity, you know that I'm not a guacamole guy. And I'm eating avocado. Oh. Oh. <laughs> don't judge me, I okay. just don't like guac. Mm -hmm. He has a guac that is made exclusively with zucchini, and he didn't even know I didn't like guac. Okay, I had no idea what I was gonna think about this. I was yeah. like, oh, okay, you know, I'm an avocado kind of person, oh. unlike you. This is unbelievable. We're gonna do what we can to squeeze the recipe out of the chef, and we'll yeah. put it on our uh, website. Might need to ask you for that one for yeah. sure. I've never tasted anything this good. Amazing. Maybe you wanna go hit a hole or two? Do you say that? Play around? Play around, you don't hit a hole or Not two. Not like play around, play around. Play <laughs> around. But you can do that too. Either or. Yeah. Nice part about this place, eat outside if you need a little bit more sun. Eat inside if you want to catch a game or something. Lots of options. Absolutely. I like that you're chugging the beer. Okay, we're moving on. Place called Fisherman's View. Yeah. Probably about 20 minutes away from here in Sandwich. Take a look. All right, I'm gonna take a break for my zucchini guac. When we come back, we're gonna be at Beach Bar, another spot here on the Ocean Edge Magnificent property. Oh. And we're checking out a place in Harwich Port called The Port, so oh, yeah. stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Dining Playbook, Billy and Jenny. Uh, we're here at Ocean Edge, but we've shifted to the beach bar. Yeah, we have. This is really cool. As you can tell, it's already getting packed here, and it's in the bay, not the open ocean. Which is so cool because the when the tide goes out, yeah. there's sandbars for miles, oh. up until two miles. I mean, you can literally walk and walk and walk and walk and walk, and the water won't get any higher than your ankles. And when you were an, an itsy bitsy, <laughs> Um, didn't you grow My, up like a I had a, I had a family house that is literally a stone's throw away. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's an oyster farm right oh, behind I love us. this story. And if you stay here, you have the opportunity to really experience they an oyster tours? farm. Yes, they do. So they'll take you out there on the boat. They'll show you some of the different oysters. What makes a Brewster oyster a Brewster oyster ah. versus a Wellfleet oyster? These very fresh oysters can be found right here on Ocean Edge at some of their various and And by the way, places. these are the best french fries I've ever had in my yeah. life. And you keep on talking because if you don't mind, I'm going to dig into this a lot. Because why wouldn't you? I think it was made for me. Okay, okay. I'm sure it was. All We're right. headed down the road to Harwich Pork. Mm -hmm. This is a restaurant that is legendary in this area, owned by two brothers, friends of ours. Yeah. If you haven't been in a while, you want to make sure you recheck it out. It's the Port. Take a look. Well, this has been an absolute blast from the past for me. Yes. And blast of so the present. so many stories from Ocean Edge. Who I knew? Do. I do. 
the nice thing to know is if you come to the Cape, mm -hmm. if you have a Cape house, all of the restaurants that we showed you today yeah. are open to the public. And if you've got a family, if you've got kids, do yourself a favor. This is the total oh my experience. package. Right. I don't care if it's a full week, I don't care if it's the entire We're summer. We're talking five pools, yeah. all Book these Ocean restaurants, Edge. gorgeous beachfront. Yeah. It is it is a memorable place to make memories with yeah. your family for sure. Happy summer, everybody. Yeah, Hope we gave thank you some good you to, ideas. Uh, our New England Chevy dealers, they got us to the game. They did. They got us everywhere. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.